at Clinical Institute of Genomic Medicine. We provide genetic services to Slovene population for almost 60 years. However, genetic practice was fundamentally reshaped and expanded some 15 years ago, namely a disruptive technology. Next generation sequencing allowed us to analyze all human genes in a single genetic test. To improve genetic services in Slovenia, we took strategic decision in 2013 to bring genomics inside routine care, to make genomic medicine accessible, covered and trusted. As part of our national plan for rare diseases, we established a multidisciplinary team that includes a nurse trained in rare diseases, psychologist, dietitian, social worker, clinical geneticist, and other relevant medical specialists depending on the patient's condition. This structure enables us to support patients and their families beyond the identification of genetic diagnosis. Our department is situated within UMCL, the biggest hospital in Slovenia. And because we are part of this hospital, we are directly connected with all medical specialities. This integration ensures that patients with complex genetic diseases, often involving multiple organ systems, receive coordinated care. We strongly believe that expert knowledge combined with high quality diagnostics are the key principles we strive to deliver every day. Every single patient should have access to the best and most equitable medical services. For this reason, we established international partnerships and collaborations early on. Clinical Institute of Genomic Medicine Ljubljana made their team available to us in real time and enabled immediate genomic services at our hospital. Through Knowledge First concept, they were guiding us through each step, providing support in patient triage, test selections, result interpretation, and genetic counseling. They enabled real-time access to consultations for specialists within Clinical Hospital Center Rijeka, as well as multidisciplinary consultations regarding complex rare diseases. They supported the establishment of clinical workflows that were efficient and sustainable within our environment. We were able to offer immediate genomic services to our patients without delay, while gradually developing the internal expertise and systems required for, for autonomy. The transition to genome-based medicine is not possible without the development of national and regional population genetic resources. To improve and facilitate interpretation of data for our patients, we therefore had to develop a Slovenian resource of genetic variation. For this reason, we have created a Slovenian genome database and we have also developed a web browser to make the, these datasets available worldwide. Using the population database of Slovenians, we can facilitate the interpretation and return the results to patients that are more accurate and faster. At the moment, our population database already encompasses 1% of Slovenian population, which gives us an invaluable resource to facilitate genomic medicine in the region. In our department, clinical care and research go hand in hand. That way, we can not only diagnose genetic disorders with a known cause, but also discover entirely new genotype-phenotype correlations. When we introduced next-generation sequencing more than a decade ago, it was a real breakthrough. It completely changed how we diagnose rare diseases and opened the door to discoveries we couldn't have imagined before. Every patient teaches us something new. 
and sometimes even leads us to findings that expand medical knowledge. fontaine fougeret syndrome is a devastating disorder. Sadly, children with this severe form do not survive beyond the first year of life. For families though, having a clear diagnosis makes a huge difference. It brings clarity, so parents don't blame themselves or keep searching for answers. A diagnosis also gives them access to the right medical care, the chance to connect with other families, and the information they need to make informed reproductive decisions for the future. At the same time, our work also moved science forward, showing how mitochondrial dysfunction can trigger processes of premature aging. At our department, we believe every patient matters. Even the rarest conditions can shed light on fundamental biological mechanisms and bring knowledge, answers, and hope. Our vision is simple. We want to bring genomic medicine into public health for prevention and personalized care across the life course of individuals. From planning a family to elegant aging. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.